Hello, hello. So today we want to learn how to rotate our textures. You have an object like this. You simply want to rotate the texture. So now if we open this material from fab, here we see tiling, offset X, offset Y. But if you search for rotation, you will not see any value or any setting regarding the rotation. So we want to edit our parent material, our master material, to add the ability to rotate the textures. So let's open this. In the recent versions of Unreal Engine, we have less spaghetti in our materials where we have these reroute nodes. And if you keep going to the left, here we have the base color. This is the texture and then it's connected to base color. And in the texture UVs, we have another reroute node that we want to edit. And this UVs node is here. And before it, we have this function and these scalar parameters. So in order to rotate the textures that we have here, we need to edit the tiling and offset group here. So I'm going to make some space and the node we need, it's called custom rotator. So if you right click and search for custom rotator, you're going to find this node here under misc or texturing is the same node. Click to add this. And as you can see, this node has three inputs. UVs, rotation center, and rotation angle. So for the first setting here, UVs, we want to connect the result from our function to UVs, and the rotated values is what we want to connect here on UVs, okay? Now, for the rotation center, you can hold on two on your keyboard and click to add constant two vector, which is X and Y. So here you can set this to 0.5 and 0.5, and that will rotate our textures from the middle. And on the rotation angle, it says here between 0 and 1, and S. S is for a scalar parameter. So if you hold S on your keyboard and left click, you will add a scalar parameter. So press F2 to rename this, and let's call it rotation. Let's connect this here, and let's save our parent material, our master material. If I open my material instance, here we will see a new group, it's called global scalar parameter values, and we have the value we've added, rotation. So if I set this between zero and one, you will see that our textures are being rotated, and you can see it's being rotated from the middle. But if you want to change the rotation center, then you can do that. So if I set this to zero and zero, it's barely visible, but you can see the rotation now is not rotating from the center. Now I'm going to delete this because that the default value here is 0.5 and 0.5. So there is no need for that node. Anyway, rotation here, as you saw, this is between zero and one. So that's 360 degrees of rotation. Now, if I want for this to be vertical, I need to set this to 0.25, okay? This is fine. If you want to do this, you can stop the lesson here. But what if you want to enter values between 0 and 360 degrees? For that, we need to do small division. So here on rotation, click and drag and search for divide. And let's divide the value A, rotation, with 360 degrees and connect this here. Let's save now. And let's go back here under rotation here. If I set this to 90, you will see this is now rotated 90 degrees and I can keep increasing this value to 360 degrees and so on. So it will keep rotating forever. Very nice. I want to create a duplicate of this and I will call this rotation and I will assign a rotated texture, whatever material instance name you like. Assign that here and now set the value of 90 on this here and now we are good to go. One final thing we want to do, the rotation here, it would be nice if we can add this here to the global group. So let's open our parent and let's select the scalar parameter and let's set the material expression group from none to global. Click and save and this will be here as you can see. If you enjoyed the lesson, leave a like, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.